Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Rhonda Shear. This dude is looking at me like he never saw a trophy wife in Tampa before. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> My girlfriend's like, get to know this one, this new guy, like a long engagement this time. Yeah, right? Shut up, right? I mean, that might work for a lot of you girls, right? But it won't work for me, because I can only hold my stomach in for like two weeks, okay? <laughs> so I was so loaded. And it was raining, and I'm actually thinking, what if this trailer could somehow become unhitched? That's how fucked up I am, okay? And it would slide down the hill and hit a car at the bottom. Now, could I get a DUI for that? <laughs> it's really fun being in the lingerie business, cause, but you have to come up with names for products. And do you remember the old Wonder Bra? We didn't do that, but the Wonder Bra, because you know why it was called that? Because the guy was wondering after she took it off, where the fuck did her tits go? <laughs> Guys are vain here too. They're vain about their, their ride, their, their car, you know? Like I'm driving behind this guy at Publix and his plate says Macho Peter. I saw him get out of the car. It should have said Nacho Eater. <laughs> Hit it. These boots are made for talking and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, are gonna up and smother you. Face the front, Greg! Yeah. Yeah, baby. My Korean woman, Japanese woman, this woman, when they chop, they hold their purses like the whole world is in there. My beautiful, fabulous Armenian woman. This woman spends so much money on these purses. They want everybody to see this purse. <laughs> oh yeah, black girls. For them, it's not a purse. It's a freaking weapon. <laughs> What's your problem? Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? You? <laughs> and of course, we have our white girls. They think it's a fucking bad huh? I'm way older than any of these bitches were, okay? It's li literally, I'm 55 years old, people. It's 10 o'clock. I should be home right now drinking Metamucil and hoping I can take a shit tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm gonna give a little tip to the single women. Listen to what I'm gonna tell you about marriage. You listening to me? Listen very clearly. Marry for money. Did you hear what I just fucking said? <laughs> Listen to me, okay? I was a hottie in my 20s, okay? I didn't have to wear pajamas in my 20s. I was a hottie. I met my husband, the musician. I was like, oh my God, he's so cute. And he's funny. What? He doesn't have a job? That's okay. I'll work. <laughs> <laughs> So young girls think it's an accomplishment. They're like, you're so lucky you met your soulmate. I wish I could find somebody I could be with for 30 years. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> the only reason you stay in a relationship, ladies, for 30 years is to see who's gonna die first. <laughs> I wake up every morning, I look over at my husband, I'm like, oh, he's still breathing. <laughs> <laughs> the pillow must have holes. So here's what the 19-year-old girl says to me, I swear to God, she goes, well, <laughs> when I put his balls in my mouth, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I and you gotta, you gotta understand where I'm coming. I'm a, I'm a mo I flipped right into mommy mode. I was like, never put balls in your mouth. <laughs> you could choke. <laughs> Thank you so much, you're so <laughs> lovely, thank you. I'm from the city with a straight
fresh and sleepy. And now I'm doing shows in Helsinki. I know what y'all thinking, I think.